Yo, what is up? It's Lamani coming to you with another My NBA 2K16 video. It has been a while. It has definitely been a few days. Uh, more than a few. It's been since Wednesday, I think. And, I mean, as this scrolls at the, through the middle of the screen, the greats have arrived, which is the big thing that's happened. Um, the greats. They are available in packs, and packs only at this point, because it has come out that they will not at least be the next Rivals Clash. Here they are for, uh, you know, on sale for the first pack is 4,875 credits, but the real price is 6,500 credits, meaning that a chance to get a great is $50, which is interesting. Uh, I mean... I'm not going to buy one. Unless one of you wants to fund it. If you want to <laughs> donate me money, feel free. Which I did actually add to my YouTube. Uh, you can donate at my channel. Or in the video there will be a little, a little like uh, thing in the top right corner. If you scroll over that, a thing will come over and click it. A thing will come up and you can donate that way. Just throwing it out there in case someone actually wants me to open one that badly. Uh, but... Other than that, you know, not planning to open one at all. But as you can see, I have been playing Rivals Clash. Um, I've been playing plus seven the last few games because I only have like 39,000 RP at the moment. And I have zero wilds. And I actually still have zero star contracts after striking out in our three hour good agent. Uh, didn't get a single one, so still at zero star con st star contracts and zero wilds. Um, and you know that I mean, so that right there gives me no reason to actually buy one of the packs. I don't even have enough wilds to, or star contracts to pro it. Um, you know, I actually still have my season reward that I got in my last season not proed um before i get into that let's just do a little flashback till to wednesday night i think when i actually got it and you know just look at my reaction just pure disappointment uh just finished an epic epic comeback in the finals um I was down 3-0, but was able to come all the way back and win, uh, you know, 1 by 10, 20, and then 1-1. One, one. So, it was a crazy, crazy, crazy comeback. But, just gonna claim the reward and see what card I get. Uh, we're gonna see if I'm excited or disappointed when I get an All-Star Hall of Fame card. Uh, whoo, pretty nervous, pretty nervous, but he here goes nothing, I guess. Ugh. I don't want to turn it. Alright, alright. Uh. <laughs> the cheese. And it's a ha ha ha. Well, at least I got the best back. Hmm. I should have lied. <laughs> I could have got him four hours ago, Cat Daddy. Uh, the cheese is real. Uh, I'll take a picture. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. Small forward. Could be worse, I guess. All right, and we're back. So, you know, extreme disappointment in my playoff card. Came all the way back just to get Michael Finley, who I still don't have proed because, like I said, I have no wilds or star contracts. Um, you know, when I get this magic, I am going to buy some wild cards or extras pack. Uh, I just sold that 
Curry. I have Avery Bradley. I did get a reset Avery Bradley. I also got a reset Kawhi Leonard, but he's not on the market yet. I just have a bunch of legends up, basically, and three stars. But, uh, yeah, I will be opening extras packs in this video, trying to get wilds. And if I get two by some chance, I will pro my magic. But, you know, I still don't have enough to buy uh, or to pro my Michael Finley. Unless somehow I get four, which would be absolutely insane, and I'd be all for it. Um, but, you know, while I play this game, this game night, I'm just going to talk about the fact that greats are in the game. And, I mean, I have honestly no problem with it. Like I said, I'm not planning to buy one, but I honestly don't care that they made them the best in the game. You know, it is what it is. It's a business at the end of the day. And, you know, if you care enough to go and buy, I don't know, the most I've seen is 10 from Twista. Uh, people probably have more, but, you know, they just haven't advertised it, or I just haven't seen the advertisement. But if you're willing to go out and buy 10 of them and pro them all, I mean, you're looking at at least 10 pack spots. So you're looking at least spending $500. So, I mean, if you care that much, if you want to be good at this game that much, then by all means, be good at the game that way. Uh, I don't really mind. I mean, it's unfortunate that people like me and other people that have grinded the entire game are now not going to have the best cards in the game unless they spend money. But, you know, at the same time, I do understand. Now, I don't really agree with it, but it is a business at the end of the day, and they're trying to make money. So, it's an effective way to make money. I mean, people are complaining, but you see everywhere a ton of people buying them. I know people on my team bought them. Uh, people on every team, it seems like, bought them. Everybody's buying them. The cards look sick. You know, the design around them is pretty nasty. You know, I like him. Uh, not enough to spend $50 for a chance to get them. I do emphasize chance because they are not guaranteed. Um, but, you know, making them the best cards in the game, it is what it is. People are kind of upset that someone can come in and just all of a sudden be better. But, in my opinion, if you want to come in not playing the game at all, not having any investment in the game at all, and just spend $1,000, $500, whatever it may be, to get enough of them for it to matter, then by all means, just go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money. Just have fun. I mean, it's kind of pointless to buy that many, in my opinion, because you now have nothing to play the game for. Because if you grind all Rivals Clash or a Road to the Championship, you know, you're getting a worse car than the car that you could just buy for $50. Um, so, if you have a bunch of them, you literally have no incentive to play a season because you're getting, at best, a card worse than the card you have. Which, I mean, still happens when you get all event cards. But, that takes a little bit longer and you actually have to earn event cards a little bit more. I mean, Road to the Championship you can buy, but you get my point. Um, and it's just, you know, it is what it is. If you care enough to do that and want to just waste money, I guess I shouldn't say waste money. If you want to just spend money to become good and not put any time in, then that's, you know, that's your business. Uh, part of the fun for me is the work and having to earn the cards, but that's just me. If you want to just be good by spending money, by all means, it's your money. Go ahead and do it. Cat Daddy, let it be to where you would be the best in the game. We're going to just look at my team. I know Boston has four of them. So he has Pettit, Stockton, Kid, and KD. Then um, the next person with a lot is Black. I think he has four as well. He has Dirk, Hal Greer, AI, and Oscar Robertson. So, I mean... Uh, it was funny because Boston was kind of jealous because he liked uh, Blacks a lot more. And, I mean, I do too. That AI looks insanely sick. Uh, OKC actually bought one. I don't think he's in this. Okay, there he is. He bought Hakeem Olajuwon. And, you know, he's not going to like this, but I'm going to bring it up now. To me, this is pointless. This card and people at this level buying them is just dumb in my opinion. Uh, OKC hasn't gotten an event card since the first Kobe. He probably won't go top 100. 
So he's not getting a ro- Rivals Clash cards. And the likelihood that he gets a Road to the Championship card are very slim because he has to spend money to do it. So, I mean, at that rate, he has one good card. I mean, that's not going to benefit you very much. It's just a waste of $50 at that rate. I'm pretty sure Vicky has Carl Malone. While I'm talking, yeah. So she, Vicky has Carl Malone. I don't know if anybody else on my team got him. I don't think so. Ancient doesn't spend money, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't. I'm pretty sure that's the only people that have them. I know Sean didn't want to spend any money on a pack. Um, but yeah, I mean, so if you're just going to have one of them, I mean, I guess it's kind of cool to have one. But you're going to have to have other cards with it. To have the best card in the game and then normal playoff cards is, you know, just not smart in my opinion. Um, but again, that's just my opinion. Uh... I don't know. Is it taking away my, like, want to to grind? Kind of, to be completely honest. This rival, Road to the Championship, I mean, waking up every hour to play these game nights as people just spent money to buy cars that are better than this was kind of saddening. But at the same time, I I feel like I'm going to be more proud of this card than people are of cards that they bought. I mean... At the end of the day, you're not, like, congratulations, you bought a card. Not not saying much. And I could if I wanted to. It just seems pointless to me. Because once you get a bunch, the game becomes pointless to play. And if you only have one, well, then, you know, a ton of people are still better than you. And it kind of gets canceled out. I mean, it's, just, again, just my opinion. It's all just a game, but I don't know. Spending that type of money for a chance at a car just seems crazy. I think the problems with this game aren't going to be solved by adding cards that cost money. Just my opinion, but the game will be the same. And it'll get... I mean, it, that's not bringing life back to the game. Uh, when they said there was news, I got kind of excited. Some people are saying a new tier, which, I mean, I honestly don't think that would solve anything. Because I don't think adding new cards to the same game is going to do much. I was hoping maybe loyalty rewards or, you know, maybe even a new game mode. Add an endurance mode or something like that. But it is what it is. I guess I have too high expectations. Um, But, yeah, I mean, that's just my opinion on the greats cards. Like, it doesn't. I mean, people are complaining, but at the end of the day, I don't care that they're the best, and I don't care that you can only buy them. If you want to flex with your wallet, by all means, flex. Do you? And I'm just going to earn the cards, you know, and just be worse than you. It is, it is what it is. It's going to have to accept it, but, it, you know, there we go. Getting Magic, uh, which I am, I'm proud of him. He's obviously a point guard, so that's always nice. Hopefully the Rivals Clash is a power forward. Uh, you know, I'm not really planning on doing it, but, you know, if the card's right, I might have to go for the event card, I guess. I mean, I don't really have the RP, but, you know, they'll give us a couple days notice and maybe I'll be able to get enough RP for it to matter. Um, I'm hope I was hoping some cards would sell, but it doesn't look like they are, uh... I'm just going to go buy some extra packs and hope I get extremely lucky. I've been striking out repeatedly on every single extra pack I buy. And I'm going to strike out again. A lot of spec upgrades. Not that that does anything for me. It's just unfortunate how much RP I've been spending and just not getting a single wild card. Man, two energies. It's dumb. Once you get an energy, every other card after that will be an energy. Huh. <sighs> And, I mean, I have to have two of them for it to matter, so... Three more spec upgrades. I'm just... Uh, the likelihood of this happening is basically zero. Three energies in one pack. Awesome, Cat Daddy. I so appreciate that. So worth 5k. <laughs> yeah, this has basically been my luck. Um... I've never gotten multiple wilds in a pack either, so... Um... And two more energies. Awesome. 
if I don't get one in this pack, I'm not going to buy another one. I'm just going to stop. Oh, I got a wild. Hey, hey, too bad that doesn't help me. I need another one, and I only have 8 KRP left. So the only way this matters is if I hit back-to-back -back packs. Um, I'll try it. I mean, hey, why not? And a fail. All right, well, I got one wild in 40K. Um, that does absolutely no good because I struck out on my good agent. Um, I can just look at the card. <laughs> no, no pro for me. Uh, oh, here's my worthy. I got defense playmaking, and then on Kareem, I got uh, offense rebound playmaking. Um, here's magic, though. Let's just go ahead and level them up. 59 of these cards that are just completely... I, ha I mean, I like that they stacked them, but this is just so annoying having to do them one at a time. Uh, da, 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 da. Didn't mean to do that. Not in a season at the moment. Probably will be joining one, though. Well, no, probably not. I mean, I kind of want to get <laughs> these cards pro before I join a season. I mean, that was the goal, at least. But, you know, I haven't been able to get a wild off my draft board in a long, long time. Couldn't buy a star contract to save my life. And our good agent um, played three hours straight. Tapping and tapping, 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 tapping. No luck. Which brings me to a point, you know, I'm just going to add this in, that having the best reward for grinding as hard as you can is just for you to have time to grind again. Like, you, the biggest reward is, hey, you get to grind for three hours and maybe get a, get a reward. <laughs> it's kind of dumb to me. But, you know, hey. I guess it works. Uh, so there's magic, kind of. I mean, <laughs> I can't <laughs> I can't really show you a pro magic. I mean, I can show you a pro magic. What am I talking about? I'll just look at the teammates. I'll live vicariously through my teammates, like I always do, looking at their cards. Let's look, just look at Boston, because, you know, he's showing off. Oh, he doesn't have it charged, but, you know, there it is. I don't know how that compares to the other cards, though. Uh, I don't know who else has it. We have been taking it extremely easy, to be honest, as an entire team. No one's really pushing. Uh, Ancient won't get it for a little bit. I think Black got it already. Yeah, okay, he has it stat charged. So, 74-45 offense. It's basically a pretty balanced card, with playmaking being the best, obviously. Here's Pippin. He doesn't have his Pippin stat charge. I have my Pippin stat charge, though. I think. Not Pippin. Uh, yeah, Pippin. I think I have mine stat charged. I'm just trying to see how it stacks up. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, I don't have mine stat charged. Well, I have them kind of stat charged. All right, so, hmm, so Magic's offense is better, I think it's playmaking, is this playmaking really worse? This is annoying, I hate not having wilds, I hate being broke, but it is what it is, broke people problems, the problems I'm having, uh, no, okay, okay, so Magic has better offense, better playmaking, probably worse defense and worse rebounding. Um, I don't know how much worse, though. Okay, so he has... Magic has better offense, better playmaking, better rebounding? Question mark. Don't know what I'm doing. Da -da 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 -da. And buying time, you know, maybe a card will sell. I doubt it. But, you know, hey, I can dream, right? So, yeah, Magic has better everything but defense. So, Magic's probably a lot better card, to be completely honest, than Pippin. So, that's cool, I guess. At least we finally have a point guard. Um, whew, I guess that's, that about does it. I mean, 
I hadn't put out a video in a while, and I can't really explain why. I guess I was just being lazy. Uh, didn't really feel like it. Uh, my luck was terrible. I couldn't buy a reset until I got one today and one late last night. Um, here's the Kawhi I got. Playmaking spec, so pretty terrible spec. But still, at least I got a reset. I'm gonna be selling him soon. I was hoping some of these cards would sell. But, you know, my luck is not where it needs to be. I guess to put them up for a little bit too much. I guess. Oh, well. Whew. Ah, that about does it. I mean, I, I did the event, finished it, happy about that. Happy about Magic. Bummed I can't pro him. Bummed I can't pro Finley. Even though I didn't want Finley. But it is what it is. And, again, I appreciate you checking the, the video out. I appreciate all the love support be sure to uh su like sub and follow on twitter at lamani youtube and i will see you next time peace